All right, hi, Colby. Today's story is my dad at the zoo. My dad at the zoo. By Coralie Saldo and Chris DiGiacomo. My dad at the zoo. Most of the time, my dad is really great, cuddly even. I mean, he wants to be, but Sunday mornings usually start out like this. Everybody up, I want to go to the zoo. I'm still sleepy, but dad doesn't care. He throws me on his back and does the galloping camel all the way to the zoo. I have to admit, it's pretty funny. But standing in line for the tickets isn't funny at all. Dad bounces around and squirms every which way. And the longer we wait, the more ideas he has about how to cut the line, like shouting, I have to pee, let me in. Once inside, the chase begins. Wait up, Dad, but Dad is way too busy to pay any attention to me. He's grimacing at the gorillas, flirting with the flamingos, pattering like the penguins, terrorizing the turtles. And then suddenly, I don't see him anymore. Phew, I found him. Where, you asked? In front of the ice cream vendor, of course. It's not snack time yet, but it's clearly time for a meltdown. Son, I want an ice cream. I try to explain that it's still too early for ice cream, but Dad rolls around on the ground, turning red with rage. Quick, I need a plan to distract him. Look, Dad, a porcupine is escaping. He's going that way. Success. Dad forgets all about the ice cream. For two whole minutes, we look for my imaginary porcupine. Then Dad spots his favorite animal. He tips his hat to say hello. The elephant reaches out and grabs it. Dad cracks up, but not me. That must be the eighth hat he's lost at the zoo. Thanks. Next, we watch the sea lion show and the piranha feeding. Dad, stop, don't. What a day. Finally, it's snack time. We sit down, but dad can't keep still. Splat, there goes the ice cream. Oh well. One more for the ants. At last, it's time to say goodbye to all the animals. The chameleons, the tapers, the parrots. Dad doesn't want to miss anyone, so we go through the entire zoo one more time. I'm exhausted. But the worst is still to come, the souvenir shop. I hold my dad's hand with all my might, trying to keep him from going in. But dad is still bigger and stronger than me. He makes a beeline for the stuffed pigeons and screams, It's so cute! No, 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 I will not give in. Dad starts to sulk. The galloping camel has turned into a sluggish snail. And me, I'm wiped out. It's true, my dad is really great, and he's cuddly, he really is. But Sundays at the zoo are no picnic. So the next time we come, I think I'll just leave him here. That'll teach him. See you, Dad. The end. No lazy Sunday morning for us. We're off to the zoo. My dad at the zoo. All right, Riley. All right, Colby. Hope you guys love the story. Love you much. Miss you. Bye.